So on my other channel, I focused on my opinion as a marketer. Sports card investor isn't as successful because he has a lot of employees and the amount of views he is getting is very minimal for the amount of employees he has. And one of the reasons I think this is the case is because he doesn't really understand internet culture. He's out here threatening to sue people with their an army of lawyers. Some of these statements that he's making make me cringe, as a lawyer, makes me cringe so hard. Fair criticism is fine. Complete lies about I'm running a pump and dump scheme or selling card picks and running a cook group is not. There's a difference, Jeff Wilson says. And is he running, selling card picks? I don't know. Sports Card Radio has some more information on that. From the screenshots, it looks like that you get card picks early or in some type of reward capacity for paying money uh, to be a member. But I don't know how that works because I'm not a member. Run Good Life, who I think is a pretty decent guy. I've watched some of his videos. He opens packs. Hey, it's Jeff Wilson. Remember when you accumulated half a million dollars worth of sealed select cases and boxes and then put out a video stating that sealed select was a safe investment play? Why not put out the video during your accumulation period? P and D, pump and dump, I assume. Characteristics here. And that's actually a very good question. You know, if you are trying to give people good advice, why would you not give them advice while you were doing it when the prices are still reasonable? Um, when you purchase half a million dollars of boxes, of course the prices will go up. And when you make a video about purchasing those boxes and saying what a great and safe investment it is, of course the box price will go up. That is the definition of, you know, a speculative market. I've never pumped and dumped in my life. This cl That claim is libel. And that clip was pulled from a video where I specifically talked about my favorite cards and my PC and not investment. Pump and dump, eh? So you are suggesting I sold those select boxes after putting that video out? Let's hear your false claim here so I can sue the hell out of you. So one of the quotes that I want you guys to remember that Jeff... Uh, said is I can sue the hell out of you. I can sue the hell out of you. Do you think this guy's a nice guy? Is this guy a, a guy you want to invite to your birthday party? It's a family man. I can sue the hell out of you. So he's baiting and switching you to put what he assumes is libel so he can sue the hell out of you. Or you could just say, hey, man, you know, I understand your opinion. I get where you're coming from. Maybe next time I'll try to do better. Or you can say this. I mean, yeah, that's, that's two ways. To, that's This is definitely a way to react. And it gets worse, right? It gets actually way worse than this. And I had no idea until I watched Sports Card Radio that this dude was has threatened to sue people in past, both privately, Instagram DMs, publicly on Twitter. And yeah, I mean, is this claim libel, Jeff? Is it libel? Are you your attorney? Did you pay an attorney to tell you that? Oh, man. Um, in the past, you know, again, if you want to have a good laugh, go on Free52 Marketing or Free52 and check out their videos. It's, I mean, they tried. They were making almost hour-long videos, 47 minutes, 50-minute videos. They even paid for Google Ads. YouTube ads to run on Jeff's video, which has one like and one dislike. The dislike is from me. It's got 20,000 views and only one like, huh? And no comments. Seems like a legit video to me. You've never once bought inventory as a speculative medium and then talked it up on any platform and then sold it once they appreciate in value. Never. Jeff... I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is not alpha investments. This is some. This is something else. I mean, I here I thought alpha investments was like a villain or a bad guy, and then you got this guy. Watch yourself. You are entering libel territory here. I have never scammed anyone. I have. I I never done anything remotely illegal, even in other markets. 
<laughs> right? Why do you guys say that? And this interaction did not occur as you described. What is wrong with this guy? Like, dude, like, I, I honestly, like, at this point in time, we're all going to get sued by this guy, or at least threatened to be sued. Whether or not he actually pulls the trigger and realize how expensive a lawsuit for libel, slander, malfeasance is, and why he can't win it, because that's why no one files it. Look at what's online. On, look at what's on YouTube every day, Jeff. It's not the first time he has posted lies about me. I've corrected him and asked him to stop before. I still haven't had one interaction with Jeff. I contacted him on LinkedIn. I contacted him on, uh, obviously, YouTube. Uh, and no interactions. Weird, since he's uh, has lawyers scanning my websites for my phone number. Jeff Wilson. Okay, let's uh, talk about this. Uh, this is probably my favorite quote from the, I don't know. Well, I don't even know what to call it. But it's definitely my favorite quote. I, I really appreciate that Jeff goes on a limb here uh, with his army of attorneys. So th that's how Jeff was publicly, which is already bad enough. Let's see how he is in private, you know, and the DMs, right? The, the, the DMs of the internet Instagram app. Because I think this will surprise you, and it definitely surprised me. I strongly suggest you stop falsely claiming I charge for investment advice. I take libel and disparaging malicious attacks on my characters very seriously and will send a army of attorneys after you if this continues. Just like he has an army of workers, a sports card investor, basically doing making videos with less than 20,000 views every few days. Uh, not the best use of money, Jeff. I take it from somebody who has hired a videographer. I do everything myself. It's just me, part-time. Additionally, if you post any videos or images of me or my content without my permission, I will pursue you for copyright violation and seek damages. Try me. Uh, Jeff, there's something online called fair use. I don't know. Maybe you should pay your lawyer to explain that concept to you. If what Jeff said was right, nobody would have no videos on YouTube. Especially those videos I like, the movie recap videos. Holy shit, man. They would be taken down so fast. Or the uh, game summary video. I watch these videos because I don't have time to play the games or really watch the movies. But it's, it's good to have on the background. My God, Jeff. You know, like if, every, if what you define as copyright infringement is anyone taking an image of you and then talking about you. Oh, yikes. I mean, this is what the entire video is on, right? And then, and then and Jeff, on his legal documents, he screenshots other people's images. <laughs> you know, it's so crazy. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I know. I mean, my advice for Jeff is get your army of lawyers ready, Jeff, you know, because I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's F and go. Because you can't just threaten to sue everybody that you that says something mean to you on the internet. Plenty of people have said much meaner things to me. In, in fact, your buddy, um, the Asian photographer who needs to lose some weight, he said some horrendous things about me recently. Am I going to sue him? No, because that's the internet, Jeff. That's just how the internet works. I, I don't know if uh, you watch other people's YouTube channels, you, you read the comments. Are you going to sue everyone in the comment section that is making fun of you? That's like half your comment section, Jeff. Like, I mean, half the people who watch your views are coming, your videos are coming there specifically to read the comments like I do. About, you know, and they're not good comments, Jeff. So anyway, you going to sue everybody, Jeff? I mean, you do have an army of attorneys, so I mean, 